Well, hey everybody. So glad you could join me today. I'm gonna show you a really cool groovy arts and crafts project that I really love to make. This is actually one of my favorite arts and craft projects. These are ladybug rocks and they're very easy to make and they're fun and you can do this with kids and it's a really cool, wet, inexpensive way to do a recycled type project. Um, so just go out into your yard or if you live in an area where there's some place where you can find smooth um, stones, just gather them and um, wash them off. And this is one situation where I'll say smaller is not necessarily better. You kind of want to get a medium sized rock so you'll have a nice surface to work with. And you do this project in a couple of different stages. Um, because you need the paint to dry, if you're going to use paint, um, just pick out your favorite paint colors. And this project actually will take you maybe a few hours to do or maybe over two days because you definitely have to let the paint dry. First and foremost, you could probably do it in a few hours if you have a hair dryer and you could blow it dry. You want to paint the surface of your rock one solid color. Um, any color, but obviously you want to use a paint that's really kind of thick. I'm going to just paint that on there. And just paint the whole top part of your, your rock. You don't necessarily have to paint the bottom too much. As you can see, I actually changed my mind about the colors. On the bottom, you could actually glue, attach a piece of felt if you don't want it to scratch a tabletop. Um, but just paint your rock one solid color and you're going to let that dry. When that solid color dries, then you're just going to paint the front part of your ladybug rock black and take some tape because you want to have a really nice stripe going down your ladybug's back. So you just, I like this painter's tape because it comes off really easily. So you just want to indicate where you want a very slim stripe coming down the back of your ladybug rock and press it down so the paint doesn't leak under. And then take your black paint or whatever color you're using and let me just get this out of here for you and just paint in that open area from your tape now when I do the head part I just basically once I painted it a solid color I just draw a, a line and just paint an oval area and that seems to work out fine and you want to let this dry or it'll smear and it'll be a big mess. Okay, once you've got that done, you've got the head painted or you've got the stripe in the back. I just basically take the tip of my paintbrush and just dip it into the paint and then just put my dots on my ladybug wherever I want them to go. Once you've done that, once you finish painting your ladybug rock, get yourself some googly eyes. And believe it or not, for some reason, I guess I must have bought a bunch of googly eyes in different colors. So for this project, I actually had googly eyes of different colors so I could match up the eye colors with um, the shade of the ladybug rock. So once you have your ladybug rock finished, like I said, you can put a piece of felt on the bottom if you're gonna give this as a gift for a paper weight, paperweight so it won't scratch or anything. And people are gonna wonder, oh my goodness, where'd you get this really cute idea? Children love this project. So I encourage you to do it. It also gives you a chance, like I said, you're just gonna go out and collect some smooth round rocks. If you don't have any rocks in your area and you want to go to a Home Depot or Lowe's and buy some, a bag of rocks, 
that's fine. Um, let me see, did this dry? Probably too soon to take this off because it's wet. But, oh, there you go. And now you see how you have the little stripe down the ladybug's back and everything. Just take that off. And then, of course, you could go ahead and put your dots on your ladybug and your eyes. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's Ladybug Rock Project. And please subscribe. And I look forward to your continued visiting here on Sugar Plum Dolls, Clothespin Dolls, our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Be sure to subscribe and post comments.